Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. I'm with little Ron Weasley. Hey, Ron. And I'm about to take a look at his bumblefoot. I'm going to give him a bath and a little bit of a soak in Epsom salt. And then um, we're going to start his treatment. It basically consists of CBD and this silver SSL cream. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's hard to pronounce. He totally hates this. But okay, here is his really bad foot. You can you can nibble my finger if you want. His foot is horrible. It's okay, bud. Just don't nibble too hard. And this this foot, come here. Come here. Paw. This paw is still, you know, if my guinea pig had this, I would freak out. But compared to his other one, it's not as bad. But we're gonna treat them both. Um, and even his back feet are actually, you know, that isn't great. And that's not great either. But this is the one I would call full-blown bumblefoot, as bad as I've seen it. And here's something else interesting. He has this patch here. He's going to go to the rescue this weekend, and we're going to get him a full health check, and Saski and the rest of the expert team are going to take a look at him. But what I think this actually is, is he was just on... Come here. What I think this is, is he was just on a dirty cage floor for so long that it just really, like, burned, burned his skin, burned his fur off. We're going to reverse this trend starting right now. See, I'm not so bad. Okay, Epsom salt. I'm going to do a soak. I'm just going to sh dissolve a little bit of this in a shallow pan, and I'm going to put Ron in it. The directions say to dissolve two cups in a full bath. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put just enough in here so that it dissolves a couple tablespoons or so. Just enough so that it starts to dissolve in the hot water. You want this water to be nice and warm or he won't be comfortable. So not too much. Uh, this is dissolving really quick. Okay, Mr. Ron, watch your head. This might be the first time he sat in water ever in his life. Okay, so you're just gonna sit here for a few minutes. Nope, you gotta keep your paw in. So Ursula said, come on, I don't wanna hold him down, but Ursula said he needs to soak for about five minutes in this. You could also use iodine, uh, watered down iodine. And so he's just got to soak for a few minutes and then maybe a scab will fall off. Probably not. She said twice a day initially. And then uh, rub CBD cream. We're not going to use the Manuka honey. We're going to use CBD cream and then SSL cream. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's the silver or something cream. It's basically like super Neosporin. It's really amazing stuff. You can have a snack while you wait. He was climbing up and this might actually keep him comfortable sitting down. I can't say enough about washing in a tray in a little shoebox, plastic shoebox like this. It keeps them so much more comfortable, level, and you waste so much less water and you don't have to hold them up and hold them under the faucet. It's just a really easy way. Okay, so he's gonna eat his celery and I'm gonna watch a couple of YouTube videos and we'll, che <laughs> and we'll check back in, in a few minutes. Looking at the scabs on, the, on his paws and they're starting to come off, so, oh buddy. So I'm just gonna let him soak for another five minutes or so and I think most of his scabs will come off. 
because I don't want to add the uh, cream and, and the CBD to the scab. I would like to do it to the raw skin if it's possible, but I'm not going to pull it. I don't want to cause any bleeding. You know, if if it's if it's raw and it's infected and it's going to bleed on its own, that's one thing. But I don't want to exacerbate it by pulling a scab off too soon. Okay, so we're we're drying his feet now, and then I'm going to put CBD cream. You can understand her there. CBD cream and this SSL cream. <laughs> My mistake, this is called SSD cream. Silver sulfadiazine. And then this is the CBD. This is the CBD we have at the rescue. Alright, so the scab came off and you can see it is awful. Oh, it's okay. So first thing I'm going to do is put a little CBD on his ears. Oh, he doesn't like that. That'll start making him feel a little bit more comfortable. And then we put the same CBD on his paw. All right, I know, I know. He's not happy with me. So he, here it is right after the soak. I've got a better picture of it that I took, like a photo. So I'll put that up here. So I'm just going to put the CBD on his paw right here and I'm supposed to like kind of rub it in but it's so sore it's so raw I'm going to get a little on this other paw which it's not bad but it's not great I know I know hold on hold on I know I know okay I'm just going to put a little bit on and then let it soak for a minute and put a little more on and I'm just going to repeat those steps a couple times uh, over the course of a minute or two. Don't bite me, please. Okay, you can flip over. But I have to hold you. So the CBD cream is on my finger and my finger's on his paw. So then I'm going to take a little bit of this cream and Ursula suggested I just put it on the gauze. right in the spot where put it on the gauze right on the spot where his palm is going to be where the sore is okay so that wasn't easy I wrapped it in the gauze that has the cream on it and then I put uh, the vet wrap which is the yellow stuff on there but it didn't stick to it closed so I had to put this uh, bandage tape on which hopefully will keep it on now. He's only going to have it on for a few hours before I will check it again. Or uh, really, I'm supposed to do this twice a day for now. And it would be nice for it to air out so that it, it can heal. It can't just be cooped up like this. But let's just see. He's going to have a hard time walking, but he'll just sit in his igloo. <laughs> there you go. He just squirmed and the bandage slipped off, so I had to put it on again. I chose to leave the vet wrap off and just use the tape. So I'm just going to put him back in his igloo, and hopefully he won't squirm too much, and this will stay on for a little while. Let's see you walk with it. Good boy. Look at that walk. There he goes. Hopefully he won't try to chew off the bandage. He'll just sit in there and relax. So it's day two and I just gave Ron a bath. Stay under here, Ron. You gotta dry off. I gave him a full bath because he was so stinky. I only soaked his feet yesterday and it, it, his fur was so matted and so smelly and greasy that I gave him a full bath um, the bottom of his foot started bleeding which because it's just so raw so I mean I'm not too worried about it we just had to keep up with the the bandage and the treatment 
Be patient, Ron. You gotta be patient. I know. It sucks being sick. I know. Well, we just have a couple more days of this. He's gonna go get a health check at the rescue in two days. Um, I also noticed he had some loud breathing, but hopefully the antibiotics will take care of his uh, possible respiratory. Oh. As well as this infection. How you doing, baby? Say hi to Ron. Say hi to Ron. I'm out of here. He's still a little wet, but let's look at this paw. It looks horrible. And it's really raw right now. But... I'm sorry. I'm about to do soak number three? Soak number three. It's still horrible. Maybe the swelling is going down a little. Ah. Uh, it's going to look super raw and nasty after we do this soak. Okay, Ron. <clears throat> Ron's getting super mad at me. Are you mad, Ron? Don't be mad. Don't use your Patronus on me, please. <laughs> Normally, if it was just one paw, you might just put it in a, a shallow bowl with the iodine or, or the Epsom salt water. But because all of his paws are kind of messed up I'm letting him soak and then I put the CBD on all three paws but I'm only putting the silver on this horrible paw and this is the only paw that I'm wrapping so we're gonna do this for about 10 minutes I'm gonna watch some YouTube and then I'm gonna come back Nope, you gotta dry. So I finished soaking him. Just basically his feet. So he's still dried, but the bottoms of his feet and his belly are a little wet still. Okay, it looks horrible. But actually, I mean, I see that there's progress. It's really red, but it does look like it's healing. Oh, tell me how you really feel, Ron. Here's the CBD on his paw. I'm gonna let that soak in, rub in for a little bit, let it dry for just a little bit. And then I'll put the silver cream on the gauze and wrap his arm up again. So I just put this much cream, and that's right where I'm gonna put his paw. And then I'll wrap him up. And I'm gonna really try to leave an opening for his, uh, so that air can get to his paw. He's super mad at me now. <laughs> There's still enough room so he's not gonna get all stuffy and, and you know, I don't want his skin to get all wet and pruney. I'm Joey. I'm gonna put him back to bed before he pulls this thing off and we give him a big pile of pellets and a big pile of hay. Okay, it's night time. It's sleepy time. Okay, Ron? I know you're sick of me. Hey, I just found out something really funny about Ron. If you tickle him right here. Ron, where was it? <laughs> he kicks his leg up. And look, you can see he even has sores right there. You don't like it? You don't like it? <laughs> He's got him super relaxed. Whoa, two! 
I hit the jackpot. I hit the poop jackpot. There it is. There's his. <laughs> That's gross, Ron. That's not cute. That's gross. <gasps> I feel like the skin here is starting to heal, even though it looks really horrible still. I feel like it's smoother, if that makes any sense. You see what I mean? Um, and I don't know if the swollen's gone, swollen's, swelling has gone down. Look at those lips. Look at those lips, Ron. But I think we are making progress. And, you know, even if I'm not seeing it, I still have to continue because I know that it's going to be a long road. But we're committed to it, Ron. So that's it for the first part of Ron's Bumblefoot treatment. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and you'll know when I post an update.